Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Brigandi TV. I'm Chris Brigandi. Today I have a really awesome uh, baseball card. It's one of the best cards in the entire hobby and it's extremely rare. And that is right here is the Nat Lajue 1933 Gaudi gum card. So this was one of the first, the 90, first of all, the 1933 Gaudi set is one of the most collectible, if not the collect most collectible set in all of baseball cards. Um, at the time, it was the first card to have such great color, um, a, a nice big size compared to the smaller tobacco cards. Um, and then on the back, they also have the statistics of the player, or a little story about the player, whereas uh, tobacco cards and gum cards would talk more about um, the product itself. So you bought a pack of gum, and, or I'm sorry, you bought a pack of cards and had a piece of gum in it, and you tried to complete the entire set. So there's 240 cards in this set, and when it came out, kids would just keep buying all these packs to try to complete the set. So they, go, they get all the cards, and they can never get the Nap Lajue 106 card. For some reason, it was elusive. They, it was, they kept buying pack after pack after pack, and they couldn't get it. But this wasn't by chance. This was actually a marketing gimmick by Gaudi Gum to make uh, their consumers, their, these kids, uh, to buy more cards. And so it was purposely left out. So what happened was there was all this consumer outcry. People, it's 1933, so they're complaining. They're writing letters to Gaudi saying, I've you know, bought so many packs, I can't get the Nap Lajue. And what happened eventually, either they felt bad or it was just a good business decision because they wanted to keep uh, selling gum and making these cards, they decided to actually issue it. So it came out the following year. So it's, even though it's 1933 Gaudi, it came out in 1934, and it was only issued through the mail to the people who actually wrote and complained. So it's extremely um, limited supply. Um, and then another thing, you'll notice this is uh, six and a half, so it's a pretty nice uh, grade. And a lot of these Lajue cards, they tend to be a, a nicer grade like this. And that's because since they were issued through the mail, they were probably given to people who really were collecting the sets and taking good care of everything. So. Whereas you'll see a lot of most Gaudi gum cards are in low condition because kids collected, they, they played with them, they looked at them, they sorted through them. These were uh, going to mostly collectors. Now, where does that land us today? So uh, the population reports put this at about a little over 100 um, specimens known between both grading services. Um, six and a half, still very high grade. I think it's, there's only about 15 or 16 uh, cards out there that are actually higher than this. So this is a great card. Um, it's worth about fifty thousand uh, dollars to sixty thousand dollars. A six just sold for forty-five thousand dollars in auction. Just to give you a better idea, um, a really great card. Let me flip it over here so you can see the back too, because this is what I was talking about. They have a little story about Nap Lajue, and uh, if you don't know, just real quick, he's one of the best second basemen's ever. He was one of the first Hall of Famers um, in 1933. He wasn't a current player. He was actually retired, and he was. Uh, you know, who knows, maybe adults were collecting this because, you know, the adults would remember who he was, the, the kids collecting the cards. Uh, he wasn't a current player like uh, Babe Ruth or Lou Gehrig at the time. Um, on the bottom there, you see Big League Chewing Cum, Gowdy Gum. Um, let me flip it back over here. Um, so it's a beautiful card. Um, not much else to say. It's one of the best cards in the industry. It's the key to this set. The best cards, I mean... There's lists of pe people, you know, it's debatable which is the best card. Obviously the Hannes Wagner, um, but this is in the top three. The Eddie Plank is probably number two or three. Uh, Nap Lajue is right there. And anybody's list is probably top five. Um, it's a great card. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about cards, especially the Nap Lajue 33 Gaudi, just give us a shout. Chris at BrigandiCoin.com, or you can also visit our website, BrigandiCoin.com. So thanks again for watching. I'm Chris Brigandi.